guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to tie a pipe fly tonight and this time it's going to be a trout imitation. So this is a 6 0 Sakuma Top Gun. Good short shank, strong, sharp hook. So I'm using gel spun as the tying thread as we need some protection against the teeth. And I'll run that down the shank and then what I find helps is that you just run a touch of super glue on that and then go back over it and wide turns and back down over it and you can see that sort of bedding and cutting into it and it sticks the whole thing to the hook and gives us a good base to tie the fly from. So for the core of our tail what we're going to do is use a bit of gold crystal hair. So I have a bunch here that maybe has a dozen or so fibers in them. And I have a sort of point set on my vise where I like to take it out to uh, that gives me the sort of the same length of fly all the time. So you know it's something sort of seven inches here. So I'll bind over the uh, doubled part here. And then again a little tip of glue that just stops it all pulling apart. Okay, so next We're going to put in the skirt that sort of gives the shape and this time we're going to use this uh, brown, I think it's called root beer possibly, uh, bucktail. So I cut a bunch of that. I'm not particularly worried about how neat this is, it's enclosed in the dressing and also this little bit at the back gives us some support to kick the thing up. So we tie in there about 8 or 10 mil from the ends of it and just tie over and over, maybe 8 or 10 wraps into that. And then I'll hold that forward and a little run of super glue into the bases of that, into the tie in of it. And what we're going to do then is we're going to fold this back. So I'm using a big straw sort of thing here. Now this one just happens to be the right size for the eye of my hook. Don't ask me how that happened, it was not by design, it just happened, okay? Um, but otherwise you'd have to use a cone, or a, cone, a, a tube of some description, push it back and hold it in place. So I'm just going to let that sit a second just till it uh, sets this like a, as I said, like a supporting umbrella for the rest of the fly. What I'm going to put on next then is the flash component, and this is a mix that I made myself. So we have in here uh, various different golds and antique golds, uh, copper, there's a red in there as well, flat gold and uh, holographic gold. So that's all mixed together. I'm going to take a bunch of that, doesn't have to be a huge bunch because we're trying to get movement here without a huge pile of bulk. This fly will be slightly more bulky than some of the pipe flies today because uh, there's multiple elements in it to get it uh, looking like this. It's kind of a complicated look of a fly. So take that off. And we're going to use that to support the uh, flash. So I'm, I'm sending this flash out till about the length of the tail. Letting it flare all around the shank and binding that down. So as you can see this now gives us uh, bulk without solidity at the at the back here, so there will be movement in the tail. So we'll then flip all this back, these tag ends, and just bind over that with a turn or two, and then a little dab of glue. So, so now that we have our flash and our movement, we're going to start to uh, build up the brown trout colours. Uh, and the profile of the front of the fly. So what I'm using next is like a straw coloured uh, fibre here, so it's connect long. 
and I have a bunch that's maybe seven inches long. What I'm going to do is tie it in at say four and three. So I'll allow that to splay around the shank, bind over that. Separate this all out. A little dab of glue, that's hitting both sides of my tie-in. And then we're going to fold that back uh, as well. Let's fold it back. I'm going to use this, which is a cut down toothbrush, so it gets stiff, and just brush that out. And then we're taking our tying thread to the front of it, we're not tying over it as such there, and that keeps the uh, bulky profile. So, uh, next, what we're going to do in here is we are going to end up with a three tone. Uh, part to this section. So, first bit here I'm using is like a it's an off white, uh, but plain white would do if you don't have a variety of different colors. Tie that in on the bottom. Then I'm going to take a bunch of yellow. I'm just misaligning it here again. These were probably cut at about four and a half, five inches, but I'm stretching this out now to about six or so. And then I'm going to tie this in again slightly longer on the under section, slightly shorter on the bit that's going forward here. And then when we fold that back, that'll help again to give us the profile. And this one, I'm going to just separate them down to the two sides slightly because we're looking at the yellow coloration of the side of a brownie. Little blob of glue around it, and then again, we're going to uh, fold this back. Just separate it out as you get it out perpendicular, and then just allow it to fold back. That gives us the white belly of the trout and the yellow flanks of it and over the top we want the brown back of it so here I have a mix of uh, like a chestnut and a, a sort of an off brown. So I'm going to just come in front of my bunch there and I'm going to set that, keep this as quite a tight bunch on top. Fold that back. I'm just going to tie over that one. That gives us our brown back to our fly. So, getting close now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little bit of flash at the sides. It's kind of to imitate uh, fins as well. And what I found is really good for this is this. Uh, Christmas tinsel which is like a pearlescent sort of thing but if you pull it apart what you'll find is that this end of it is all uh, cut in the middle so I just break that off take two of those and then set it on the side tie across it fold it back tie it in and then on this side same, hold it in position, turn across, it'll fold back on itself. And I think that gives a real nice flash effect in the fly. So, brown trout have a pattern on the side of them, so what I'm going to use for this is this sunburst grizzle. I'm going to take a couple of hackles from here and tie one on each side. And that accentuates the yellow streak as such and also gives us some uh, imitation of the spottiness of a brown trout. We tie one on this side. Tie 
a1 on the opposite side there we go and then we're going to do our head so the head is in two parts uh, the lower part of the head I'm going to use white craft fur and the upper part I'm going to use a brown craft fur so I take a bunch of that what I don't want is this short bit down in here so I'm going to pull that apart and end up with taking this stuff out which would only create bulk but wouldn't actually contribute to the shape of the head at all so then I turn my bunch around go underneath the fly and tie that in place so I'm only wanting this on the lower uh, portion of the hook and then said so the upper part is going to be this brown craft fur so we take a good bunch of that and do the same where we get out the short stuff set that on top so that it comes down to meet the white portion and then bind that down so then I'm going to just put a couple of half hitches in there to finish that cut that off and we're going to fold that back to create the head so I'm just going to glue the tie in of that set the two of these back put my straw thing on Separate the fibers out and then push that back. And I'll just brush that in. You don't want to get too much super glue there because you don't want it to seek back into this, especially whenever you want to brush it, otherwise, you'll brush it through the, the fly. So that is the fly tied. We just have to get eyes and stuff on it. But what we're going to do is uh, a bit of marker work here so I'm just going to take the head portion here and a black marker darken that up and then a little bit of a run back and then I'm going to start creating a couple of big black spots on it you don't think they're necessary you don't use them to the trightiness of it. What I'm going to do with this is I have to let this dry first and then I'm going to put the eyes on. So the eyes for this I'm going to use are these uh, I think they're called hard earth or something like that there is the colour of them. Um, so what I do is uh, I'll take some pictures of it there is that I will turn the fly on its side and then I take uh, epoxy resin, two part epoxy. And what I'll do is I'll mix that together. And then I'll put a blob on the side of the fly, just on this bit. Whenever this sets, what it'll do is it'll create, it's already set. Um, it'll create this sort of little platform for me here. So I will super glue that. Set that on top, or not super glue, but, uh, use the epoxy, little blob of epoxy on top of that, and then I will set the eye in on it sideways like that with a little blob of epoxy. Then I will leave that off to the side to dry. And once it is dry, then I'll flip the fly over and I'll do the same the other side, set it to it, and then I will create the head. So, what I'm going to do is show you how I get the head final finish on it because uh, we have one here that I have attached the two eyes to so what we want to do here is just to finish out the, the head so I mix my epoxy together as we've done here and I'm going to add a little bit of bronze glitter to that mix that further in and then I'm just going to fill out the space between the 
between the A's. If you wanted to be very fancy, you could do two tone as well. You know, like you could go for like a pearl on the bottom. I think the double bronze will show that off. And that just fills out the head for me. So what I'll do now is I'll put this onto a rotational dryer and let that spin until such times as it is. it's only a two minute epoxy so it'll only going to take it two or three minutes before uh, that works. But that is our little brownie. So hopefully you liked the video. Uh, if you did, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out all the other videos in the channel. Until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.